All right, guys, here we are today at my bike shop, and today we're doing a video that my mom asked me to do. She gets so many people coming into the bike shop, picking out BMX bikes, and they don't know what they're looking for exactly. They're coming in here trying to figure out what size they want, or what's the difference between bikes, why the prices are different, everything like that. So today's video, we're gonna be bringing you guys around the BMX section, and we're gonna be showing you guys all the BMX bikes that we carry here at the bike shop. We have like 50 plus BMX bikes, which is awesome to see. I have friends of mine that come here from the BMX industry, and they can't believe the amount of BMX bikes we have, and we're really proud to be able to push BMX out there so heavily so today's video I'm gonna bring you guys over there I'm gonna show you guys all the difference in the BMX bikes I'm gonna show you guys why the cheap ones are cheaper than the expensive ones why the expensive ones cost more what the special parts are on them we're gonna show you guys the brands we're gonna show you guys the difference between the bikes whether it be gyros whether it be no gyros whether it be four-piece bars whether it be just regular handlebars whether it be street tires whether it be dirt tires everything in between and today we're gonna have my brother Maddie who works here to help us out he's the one that actually builds the bike so he's gonna know the difference between the top tube lengths he's gonna know the difference of why certain bikes have these certain parts and everything in between so let's go find Maddie. all right guys fresh off of work this is my little brother matt and he's going to be showing working, us scott <laughs> i guess I you're right stop working. we dragged Maddie out here he had a long day but we're going to be going over every single bike pretty much here not every single one in depth but we're going to break down the difference of why people should be coming in and looking for a certain bike all right because yes, we course. have people that are coming here that are kids we have people that are coming in here that are adults so there's and a the big elderly. difference and the elderly as well can you find us a good starting bike for people to come in here if they're just getting into BMX? Of course, of course, of course. I can always find a good starter bike, but there's things we have to look at. The size of the human is one of the biggest things that we have to go by. If I've got a little Corey height guy walking in here, some of the bikes might be a little too big. I might have to point him into the, you know, the 16 or 18 inch section. Might fit him a little better. If I've got a dude coming in as big as the big dog, I might have to just go straight to a little bit of a higher end bike where he's gonna get a bigger frame bigger parts. Well, let's do that. We'll get the big boy on a bike real quick. Let's pick out a starter bike for the big boy. What do you know? Perfect timing. Welcome to the shop, big boy. Wow, I just want a BMX bike today. Hi, Sir. How are you? Great. Can I help you with anything? I would love to get myself on one of those bicycle motocross machines today, please. Well, that's just my expertise. Let me show you over here, little buddy. I, I don't have a lot of money, though. And I'm just getting into it. Nope. Broke is a joke. Well, you're Jokes kind of broke. a bigger guy, so let me show you down here. We got some of the bigger bikes for you. I need something that is a good price that will withstand the abuse that I'm going to put it through. Wow, you're asking for a lot here. I know, <laughs> but you're the salesman that's going to do it today, Okay, huh? for real, for real, for real. This dude is 6'4", so the yeah. first thing, I'm going to have to cancel out all the cheaper bikes. There is cheaper bikes down the line. For the most part, we have more expensive bikes down to the right. A little bit of a cheaper bike to the left and a cheaper bike is usually for a smaller person it's for the kids who just want to jump off the curves ride around the neighborhood there is a little bit of a cheaper bike that i can find for him which he'd pretty much be looking for a 21 inch top tube so your average bmx bike out here is going to be a 20 and a half for me i ride a 20.6 scotty rides 20.8 so the first thing and the most affordable i would go with a kink gap xl so pull that thing on down. it's black I want color. Well, get over it. I want some color. Pull the bike down. It's all black. Yeah, go get a job or something and come back here. That's my favorite thing, man. Damn it. Oh, wait. It's two tone. I it's can two deal. tone, dude. Damn. That's two different colors. So you're getting best of both worlds. Perfect. So we got the bike right here. It's a good size pull. bike. The kink gap's usually a 20 and a half inch, but this is the XL. That's the XL. Right Nothing there. else really gets bigger on it besides the frame length. Just gets a little bit longer. Um, still looks pretty identical and everything. So is there anything I should look for that makes the bike know that it fits me? We can do multiple adjustments to get this bike to fit you. I cannot make anything bigger, but what I can do is give it a little bit of a bigger feel by maybe moving the handlebars a yeah, couple I'm notches Yeah, I'm gonna forward. want my handlebars for it. They're a little um, too far back from me right now. But to... everyone has a different preference. Some people even move them back because they want them in their lap a little bit more. We can cut handlebars for the rider. Um, a lot of little kids, feel obligated to grab the end of the bar because they feel like they have all this bar here. Mm -hmm. So what we'll usually do is cut the bars down, just uh, grab, grab on the inside a little more. You can also raise the seat up. For a I'm BMX bike, that. you're not supposed to be sitting down anyway. So a lot of the kids come in here, or even adults come in here, and they're like, oh, well, you know, I can't sit down and pedal on this bike. Well, maybe a BMX bike's not the best bike to be looking at if you're looking to sit down and pedal. Gotcha. There is options uh, to, to do a new seat and seat post on the bike. 
but that's going to be running you an extra just so you could sit down and pedal on a BMX So let's bike. talk about the features that are on this bike right here. What are you know some things that you can look at and be like, wow, that's pretty cool. This comes with this. So with, with the kink gap that he's looking at right now, it's still an affordable bike. So this one is selling right now for $369. Oh. You are getting a full BMX bike for $369. Um, some of the things you can look at is sealed bearings on the hubs and the bottom bracket. So if you could, if you notice between this one, um, the bottom bracket has all this tapering in there. That pretty much means that you're looking at a better bottom bracket. There is different systems where maybe you could look at this one over here. Usually when you see this little ring around it or this little wrench piece that you could be grabbing onto, that usually means that it has an unsealed bottom bracket. With this one, it's got all sealed bearings, which will stay tighter and less maintenance later on with your bike. That's one of the biggest things you'll notice between a cheaper bike and something that gets a little bit more pricey. So this bike comes with three piece cranks, it comes Sealed with up. you know, internal headset, it comes with oh, anything yeah. else that we should throw in out there? Integrated headset, pivotal seat, so the Ooh, angle is totally adjustable as cool. well. A lot of the cheaper bikes, you'll notice that they have a one piece seat. All right, so you guys see that hole right there? That is what you control to actually change the seat. And you also can control the angle with the seat with that one. So uh, an average pivotal seat and- oh, oh my God, it's my boss is coming. Oh, oh my God. S Scott, well, what is it? I'm, I'm filming right now, I can't talk. Shh, he's ridiculous. Wait, oh, I got, I got paid more this month? Oh, hold on. I got I'm buying a bike from your shop. I'm gonna tell him right now. I can pay more this month. Oh my god, this is great. Yeah, because they're trying to sell me this bike. It's got like three piece cranks. I need the full. I need the nice cranks. I can't afford <laughs> the I nice need the cranks, cranks. And three piece cranks. I need the. I need the good cranks. So for big boy, that would be the cheapest one you this can offer. This probably gonna be the cheapest bike that will hold up, and size wise, be set for this guy right here. Cool. So let's show him a more expensive option. I need it. Expensive is my middle name. I want to, uh, he, my boss, AKA Scott Kramer, told me I got paid good this month, so I want the most expensive one you got. So for the most part, they do get out of order sometimes, but for the most part, you're gonna have the more expensive bikes on the right-hand side towards the door, and it's gonna go down to the cheaper bikes away from the door. So what we have in the more expensive region, we have three fully complete bikes. Bikes that we built from scratch in the back. We have- So these aren't bikes that are coming in a box. These are not coming in a box. Full these are custom. coming just from a frame. And then we put the parts on them, still affordable. So what we do is everybody wants a Scotty Kramer bike. The Scotty Kramer bike is actually a Jeff Fuel Wizard frame, but made by Hyper. So we took a Jeff Fuel Wizard frame and we put all very affordable parts on it. There's a couple really nice aftermarket pieces on it as well but mostly affordable. So now any kid, when he says, I want the Jeff Fuel bike that Scotty Kramer has, you can get that for a small fee of $770. And that's not bad knowing that the frame sells for $450 alone. Pretty, so you're getting a whole impressive. bike for 770. We also have a full tall loader complete with all of practically every aftermarket tall loader part that they can possibly do. Um, this one gets a little bit pricier. This one goes for 945 because it does have a lot of really, really aftermarket parts on it. Things that I ride on my bike. And then this is actually a fresh built one. So this one is a Trey Jones complete bike. That's your yes! <laughs> this is probably the one that you'll oh, yes! be buying at the end of the day. Oh, yes! You know Big Boy's a big fan of Trey Jones right there. So this has as many Jesco faces as you could possibly ask yeah, for on one frame. <laughs> He's on the head tube. So there's Jesco the Bulldog on the head tube right there. He's doing a mirror pose. It's a lady looking in a mirror and she sees Jesco as a reflection. <laughs> pretty awesome. He peeks himself through the Sabrosa sticker yeah, over here. Cute. So this complete bike right here, we just built up. This thing looks pretty awesome. So this bike would be good for Big Boy, right? What's the it, size of this one? This one's a 21 inch frame. Exactly oh, what Trey oh, Jones would be riding okay. right now. This exact frame. And we built it up with affordable parts. Mm -hmm. We actually took them off of a Sabrosa and built up the frame. So this one goes for a small fee of six hundred and fifty dollars flat. That's pretty awesome. So for so six fifty, you can have right a here. Trey Jones. It just looks right, really. How's it feel? Big boy so far? This one's really... no pegs, just as Trey would want. Oh, You're right. That is so good. The brakes we put on because you do have to sell a bike with brakes. All right, looks like Big Boy found I, his bike I on his budget right bike. there. And, Perfect. So let's do another one. Let's uh, let's say Corey Burglar comes walking through his door. I oh, wish he was going to, but Corey. it's not going to happen. So what would somebody Corey size? What would he start out with? Let's find Corey. Where's Corey? That's 
that's not Corey. That's not Corey. Nope, that's nope, not, nope. Keep no, going, no, keep no, going, no, keep no. going. That one. Yep, that one right there. Probably about the same height. So we have a two foot guy. We have somebody who is almost three feet. We have somebody who is four feet. And we have the sizes down here. We have a 12 inch bike. We have 16, 18, and 20. Those are all top tubes, right? Correct. It's something that you guys will probably never. <laughs> What's kick, He's kicking things. Um, somebody comes in so, here and they need the smallest BMX bike they have. Which bike are we getting? Uh, it's gonna have to be one of these bad boys right here. Boom, we got Kink and Colt. So this is what we have. The smallest BMX bikes we have are 16 inch BMX bikes. We have Kinks and we have Colts right here. We have the Kink Carve. Now this one is listed for $279. So the main reason is because it does have that bottom bracket. Uh, it's an American bottom bracket yeah. where it does have a bolt on the end. It sometimes comes loose if you're really abusing it. We'll take care of that. We do tune-ups on your bikes and everything. We'll handle that. Um, and it also has a standard headset on it, which is something definitely to look for. Yeah, so you see that black ring that's on the bottom right there? So that's a, that's a cup that is pushed into the frame. As the price goes up, both of these frames right here have no cups in them. It's just a sealed Built bearing the frame, yeah. in the frame, which it's a much cleaner look. It stays tighter, lasts longer, everything like that. Yeah, so this kink right here, this is another car. This one has better quality parts on it, and this one's a little bit more expensive. This one's $309. But then we move on to this Colt right here. What's the difference, the main difference between this one and the kink? This one's gonna be an aluminum frame. So what does aluminum mean compared so, to? So aluminum is a material that's just much lighter than steel. So the biggest thing is when you're a young rider, um, you don't have the muscle to carry around one of these big bikes. When you're a little kid, it matters what you're riding. Like for me, I had all titanium everything and my bike was really, really light. You learn stuff easier, you get the hang of it, you, using the bike, bike control, all that stuff. It definitely helps out in the long run. It still has the integrated cups, nicer bottom bracket, everything on that. And it has actually pretty much the same quality tires that you'd buy aftermarket, but in a 16 inch size and they're beautifully colored. So what's this Colt go for? This Colt jumps up to $349.99. So this is almost the exact price that Big Boy was looking for for his yeah, 21 inch bike. And this bike is the either. highest quality 16 inch. So if you're too big for a 16 inch, but you're not big enough for a 20 inch bike, there's an in-between. So right here, this is a Brosa. This is an 18 inch bike. So as you can see, like it looks like a proper bike, but it's just slightly smaller. And these are becoming so popular. Like when I was a kid, they didn't have 16 inch BMX bikes or 18 inch BMX bikes. I was 10 years old riding one of these big bikes. If I had one of these, when when I was a kid, oh, I would have excelled so much more. So, I mean, anybody that's starting BMX smaller, you should check out the 16 and the 18 inch bikes and see if you fit on those. And now every company has different bikes. So I'm just gonna quickly point out as we walk on by, you can see this Sabrosa right here. This one comes with four piece handlebars. So you can see the handlebars look different than the kink that's next to it. It's a different style, it's a different look. And then every bike has different colors as well. And there's even companies that only have certain colors for certain size bikes. So the top tubes can start at 20 and they can go all the way up to 21. We have the kink app right here. This one has white tires, has an awesome black look. But what's different about this one, this one comes with a free coaster. So that means you can do a fakie on your bike without having to pedal backwards. And that comes from the factory. And the price on this bike is only $389. And you can get a BMX bike that is completely ready to go to the skate park. A free coaster aftermarket to get a whole wheel is about $250. So think of any bike you buy, we'll say 350 bucks right there, you have to spend an extra $250 just to get a free coaster on the bike. So if you're definitely looking to get a free coaster, that's a great option for you. So all the way at the end, we have GTs right here, and these bikes are only $260. But they come with three-piece cranks, they come with gyros, you know, it's a nice bike, it's a good quality bike. Not everybody wants to have a bike with loud colors, so we have options with bright colored bikes. We have a Sabrosa right here that's green with green tires, but then also right next to it, we have a Sabrosa that's completely blacked out, so there's a little bit of everything here. Like Maddie was saying earlier, we have custom bikes here, so these are ones that we just built up because we know that some people come in here just kind of looking for something that's a little bit more that's different that's more original than the ones that are on the rack right here so we have one offs but if you are a rider and you want to come in here you can do a full custom bike we can put whatever part you want on the bike and we can have you pick it all out we can get it all shipped here we can build it up for you so that's a really cool option i mean it costs a little bit more money but the option is there 
Buying a BMX bike for the first time is such a memorable experience. I remember getting my first BMX bike was from this shop and it was before we owned it. And I will never forget that bike. It was such a huge moment for me and I was so proud of that bike. And when you come here to buy a bike, we're gonna do our best here to get you the exact bike that you need, the one that fits you, the one that you like the best when it comes to color, feel, and everything in between. So I hope you enjoyed this guide to buying a BMX bike. We had a lot of fun going over all this. We are so proud to have the shop, to have so many BMX bikes, and to make so many people's BMX dreams come true. If any of you guys are in the area and you guys want to come and check out a bike for yourself, we are open every single day. You guys can come in here. Maddie is most likely going to be working in the back or BK. I might even be out here and I could possibly help you pick out your bike. It's not a full guarantee, but it is a possibility. So if you guys have any questions about certain bikes, you guys can go on the manufacturer's websites and you guys can see all the information about the BMX bike to figure out exactly what you're looking for in a bike. And we can do our best to order the right one for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Peace.